Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. It's my three Fords and we're going to talk about how to Sasquatch your non-Sasquatch Bronco Badlands. So I'm going to go over in this video the four general steps that I did to get there. Okay, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I did this and then I'm going to tell you some afterthoughts on things that I might do differently if I, you know, did it again. So the main reason I got a stock Badlands as opposed to a Sasquatch package one was because Ford wanted about $4,100. And that's just a lot of money. As you can see here, the Badlands offers quite a bit of what the Sasquatch already had. So basically I was looking at a minor difference in suspension, like less than a half an inch, and uh, the tires and rims and fender flares. So what exactly did I have to do to go from this to this? Well, I will go over that now in these four steps. So step one was to find some cheap pull-offs. Cheap pull-offs in this sense meant $1,500. I had seen these from as, you know, as little as $1,300, one opportunity that I couldn't get to in time, to as much as $2,800 or $3,000 or even more. People want a lot of money for them. And they're you know pricey tires so I understand that but I wasn't willing to spend that much so I got these for fifteen hundred and that meant selling my Badlands rims and tires for what I ended up getting for them which was about eleven hundred dollars so it was a swing of about four hundred dollars between the two okay so step two was to upsize the fenders to match the Sasquatch tires and rims and sort of the general package that that you get with a Sasquatch and that was about 400 bucks. I did get $145 for selling my old fenders, so there's a swing of about 250 bucks there. Step three was the buy left tail light extender, and I don't know that this was entirely necessary. I did miss out on my picture, but I did put the Sasquatch rim up against the stock one that I had before, and it was, you could see it, but it was really squished up against the tire, like the tire was basically pushing it up. So I think you kind of did need an extension and it's possible you might have been able to or I might have been able to adjust the stock one a little bit too but I'm not sure about that. So step four was a one inch lift. The reason for the one inch lift was because the Badland suspension is 0.43 inches lower than a Sasquatch and since I was stuffing larger tires you know the Sasquatch tires in there which are actually 1.6 inches taller than the BFGs that I had so that means it's 0.8 inches into the wheel well I wanted to take that up but also not be any lower than a Sasquatch so I added the one inch both on the rear axle and the front axle uh, for you know a total of a little over half inch taller than a Sasquatch and this is some of the information that I used to come to that the little Bronco suspension cookbook here gives you a lot of information about the part numbers, the differences between the different types of suspension, and both the Sasquatch and Badland suspension are both the Haas 2.0 with the Bilsteins. So it already had the Bilsteins, but the Bilsteins were just a little bit shorter than the ones on a Sasquatch. So this right here shows you the front axles, right here and here of, you can see those are the KO2s, that was before any lift then on the rear there's a one inch rake on the Bronco so it's seven inches and of course seven inches you can still see the KO2's so that's the old suspension with the old tires the new tires are just slightly right at six or a little bit above with the lift so without the lift they would have eaten into there and probably been like five or five and a half now the back is like seven and a half seven and a quarter so the one inch lift on the back was more or less like about an inch and a half. Now in order to accomplish a one inch lift all the way around, I had to buy two lift kits. This zone off-road one inch leveling kit, and then also this zone off-road two inch leveling kit, and I just used the rear portion of it. You raise the front two inches and you raise the rear one inch. And so that's how I got the one inch on all four corners. And which wasn't that difficult to do. It was this is all pretty easy stuff. And Zone Off Road is an American uh, products company. So, what was my grand total? My grand total was nine hundred and eight dollars. 
That includes $400 for the difference between the two types of rims and tires. That can included $250 between the fender types, an extra $50 for the tailgate extender, and $208 for both lift kits. So with hindsight as my guide, I would probably, the only thing I can think of that I would change is that I would do the two inch leveling kit uh, by itself. So I would save the money on the one inch leveling kit and just do the two inch leveling kit, do two inches up front, one inch in the back. And then, but that does necessitate zone off road says you, they highly recommend that you use their upper A arms, which I ordered. So that's 380 bucks. So you can save 68 bucks, but then you're going to spend another, you know, 310 on that. So the difference between, uh, you know, the way I did it and the way I'm going to end up doing it is going to be about $1,200, you know, total, you know, a difference of about 300 between the two. But that is the, the way I think it'll look, the Bronco will look cooler. I will have to adjust the headlights. I was trying to avoid that and kind of keep the sort of stock look to it. But driving around with one inch on all four corners and seeing it once before because I did the front suspension to begin with and it looked pretty cool having it level and it, it didn't it didn't give a squatted look to it it was actually pretty level and looked really good and so that's what I would recommend spend a little bit extra money and then have a really cool stance with the Bronco if you like this video hit the like button I'd appreciate that and if you want to see more videos uh, with the Bronco or my other two Fords, the F-150 or the Ford Flex, you can hit the subscribe button as well. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.